Control Houston at a distance of 190 meters away from the International Space Station. NIOCA's docking mechanism has now been powered up. And uh, reports from the Russian Mission Control Center indicate that it has now uh, been commanded for final approach. How copy? Okay, then turn it back on and then turn it uh, off the robot or function switch. And uh, I do not deactivate the BPS is Hodney. Okay, now I activated the robot or function switch and the indicators on the side are illuminated. Copy. And now I turned it off and indicators are not illuminated. Range is 188. Range read. Minus 0 0.01 and resources 561.3. Copy. Know that MLM is station keeping and everything's looking great. Copy. Thanks. This is Mission Control in Houston. Uh, Russian flight controllers uh, say that they're go for final approach. The multi-purpose laboratory module, approximately 180. Eighty-eight meters away, closing at a rate of procedures. The MLM uh, Nyoka is locked in uh, to the docking port on the earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the station. Final approach. Confirmed. DPS activation. Confirmed. Here in the uh, flight control room at Mission Control in Houston, Flight Director Greg Whitney uh, has uh, indicated that uh, we are go for docking as uh, MLM uh, slowly inches its way towards uh, its final uh, destination at the International Space Station. Minus 0 0.8. Copy. Dock Node is one square below. Copy. Station Houston on two. We have pulled go and MLM is on five. The image is really dark. I can just see the outlines of FG, FGB. Range is 154. Range rate is minus 0 0.8. Copy. Docking node is in the center and the target is to the left by one square. Copy. Range is one, three, five. Range rate is minus zero point eight and Resource is five, four, four. We copy. port uh, that was occupied by the pier's docking compartment for the past 20 years until this past Monday when the unpiloted Progress 77 cargo craft departed the station attached to piers. The two spacecraft uh, then deorbited uh, to plummet into the Pacific Ocean.
opening up this port for the arrival of the brand new Naoka module. Enter the periscope. Copy. Unfortunately, we don't have KU right now, so we're not able to point cameras. Range is 70. Range rate is minus 0 0.32, and the resource is 533. Oleg, you can deactivate operation, Rabota. Operation is off. And once you re reach the 30-meter mark, range is minus 0 0.25. And the resource is 532. Uh, read it back to me. Activate Robota at 30 meters again. And then you will be working for page 72. We copy. We will activate. Uh, the International Space Station closing at a rate of just over one-tenth of a meter per second. The range is 45, range rate is minus 0 0.18, so the resource... The visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control, Tom Erkenswick, reporting nominal performance from Nyoka. Copy. Range is 40. Range is minus 0 0.14. 528, 527 is the resource, and the crosshairs are aligned. We copy. Range is 36, minus 0, 1, 4 is the range rate, and the target is one square to the left, one square down. Copy. Closing in on 30 meters away from the station, Nyoka's uh, automated rendezvous system is adjusting its path for the final uh, few meters prior to contact and capture. Abort uh, with plus X has been activated, just in case, and then how do you copy? we we'll copy. Range is 25, and looking at the ruler, the range rate is minus 0 0.1. The resource is 527, and we're almost one square to the top of. back in April as the newest component of the orbital outpost closes in for its contact and capture with the complex.
We copy. The target is in the center and the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Everything's good, guys. We copy. We copy. That's everything's good. Oleg. Uh, we are at 31 around, like, so use floodlight just in case. We see it on the camera, thanks. We didn't copy Vladimir Alexeyevich. Uh, we didn't copy your last range. Uh, we're entering the... We're losing light. Yura, are you seeing the image? Yes, we are. The target is um, 15 meters separating uh, Nyoka from the station. It is about 10 meters. The target is a little bit going off to the side. Copy. Range is 0 0.09. Oleg. Oleg. Let's switch to the Toro mode. Copy. We are sending PUBPS in your show. Stand by, Oleg. And for the final few meters, uh, Oleg Novitsky taking over manual control of the flying of Nyoka. Initial command range is about 10 meters. Copy. Range rate is minus zero. Alignment is unintelligible. We copy. Standing by for contact and capture. We are losing the image. The range is three meters. Copy. Range uh, rate is minus 0 0.1. The target is in the center. The crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Range. It's 0 0.1. We're standing by for contact. And once you get the contact, and um, the, please deactivate. Once you confirm contact, please deactivate PUBP. Yes. Copy. Contact and capture. Docking Contact confirmed confirm. at 8.29 a.m. Central Time. Nyoka has been a long time coming, but has now pulled into port at the International Space Station. Congratulations. That was not a, an easy dock.
in we are in pre trip. We module has arrived at the International Space Station. The 22-and-a-half-ton Nyoka multi- purpose laboratory module has reached its destination on the uh, Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the station. We're standing by for the completion of the retraction of the docking probe and the initiation of the closing of the hooks to form a hard mate. The uh, docking probe has completed its retraction, and, now, and we now have hooks driving on both sides of the docking interface. Next uh, three hours or so, Oleg Novitsky and uh, Pyotr Dubrov uh, will conduct.